All right, now that you've got some uh, basic idea of how to put some dynamics into your scenes, now let's play with some of the attributes available on each of the shape nodes, which are stiffness, root hold, and dampening. Now, a couple of attributes that we want to talk about are tucked away in this dynamics properties. And I've got the enable collision turned on here, as well as the disable dynamics. Now, if you turn off Enable Collision and re-simulate this, it's pretty much going to run right through the, the hair. Uh, the hair is going to run right through the face, just like we had no collision objects. This might help you when you're trying to speed up your workflow. If you disable all dynamics, then when we re-simulate this, and I'm going to go ahead and add this to my shelf. Okay, go Hold down Control uh, and Shift, and we're going to choose Run Dynamics All Nodes. Okay, so there we go. We'll go ahead and scroll down there it is so with disable dynamics activated you notice that that is checked off if I turn that back on and re-simulate there we go we actually get the movement the way we're supposed to so those are just a couple check boxes for you if you want to take a look at them now what we will talk about is the stiffness attributes now as this stiffness increases to a value of one we get it to a point where, if I re-simulate this, it's like there's no dynamics on there at all. It's frozen. Where would this be useful? Well, think of it, the map, right? You can go in and maybe the sideburns and this area here you don't want uh, floating around, but maybe just the tops you do. Well, you can go in and generate yourself a map for exactly where you want that, that dynamics to, to play. Let's set this to something like 0.3 and re-simulate. still going to be pretty loose. Okay, let's increase this a little bit. I don't want to adjust this too much because we're going to talk about these here in just a second. So here's a stiffness of 0.65. You notice that the hair is trying to hold its shape a little bit better. There we go. Okay, so that's what stiffness does. Now root hold, what it's going to do, let me pull in here real tight. It's going to try to take these first two vertices on this guide hair and hold them straight out. So if I crank this all the way to one and re-simulate, let me simulate this and I'll pull it back and I'll play this. Okay, you can see it's trying to stay on top of the geometry. That's our collision object. All right, very good. So again, if you crank this up too much, you're going to have very stiff ends, and that's not really realistic. So we'll set this up to something like 0.8. Now, dampening is going to be what is going to add resistance to our scene. So if I crank this all the way up and reduce all these others, okay, and re-simulate this, it's almost like I'm in underwater. Okay, you notice how it moves as a mass? Right? What we're having is this fall-off effect from the dampening. So it's going to lose energy at every frame. So if we set this to something small, uh, let's say um, 0.5, and we run this again, you see how as these move, the effect isn't a p completely apparent. So we'll just say something like 0.1. So let's go ahead and set our root hold back up, our stiffness back up, and now let's see what we get. There we go. We do get some movement. Still a little bit silky. We can go ahead and increase this just a bit. Maybe 0.15 for dampening. Let's re-simulate re this. Very nice. Okay, so we're getting some movement. And you do have the ability, again, on any of these attributes to not only use a map, but to keyframe. So maybe in this initial position, right before it starts to move, We'll set this uh, key here for stiffness, and then we'll go into this movement. We'll lower it down, set a key, and then as we end up over here, we'll crank this back up high, and we'll set a key. So let's re-simulate this, and now we lower the stiffness, increase it. So you can counteract any of this movement that you want using an animation on some of these attributes. So that's a really quick and easy look at how to utilize the stiffness, root hold, and dampening. I'm going to go ahead and um, break the connection here and delete that animation just because it's a little bit easier just to keep these scenes clean for while we're explaining some of this information. 
And that in itself is a quick look at the Dynamics properties.